and get it close to where it has to be. So now as you get closer with this bottom one, you want to make sure that you have this clamp pushed all the way up because there is some play in it and you can see it does hang down out of the box. Well, we want that to be all the way up so it doesn't interfere with the cover. So I'm going to snug it up a little bit more. So once you push it up, it'll stay there and then you can finish tightening. So that's pretty well staying in there. Just kind of hold the wire over a little bit and that'll, that'll aid you in keeping it over there. And you just want to snug it down, you know, halfway decent. And I'm going to go at equal, so I'm going to get the top a little bit tighter. The top is fairly snug at this time. Now I'm going to give this just a little bit more. there and that'll hold that in place so now at this time you can bring your plug around and plug it back in until it snaps in now this is going to all be up here so what you want to do now is tie these two together with the cable tie And notice it's the end that comes directly off the plug. You want it to be in line with this. And you want to position your cable also, your tie, so your cutoff end, there we go, I had it right the first time, I think. You want your cutoff end to face opposite of the trigger. Just no great big deal if you don't get it on that way. It's just, it's going to be, it's going to have a little bit of a sharpness to it. So you don't want to be able to snag your finger on it. This way it keeps it opposite of where you're controlling this thing. Okay, and then the last step, we're going to put the cover back on. And notice it does have a cutout for these wires that come out of it. So we put that on like that and just kind of help this to align into that. Got to make sure all your all your tabs are where they're supposed to be. Okay, and it's flexible, so you'll see you'll about to move it around to get your holes lined back up. And I would suggest that you start your screws in this area first because you're kind of fighting that cable a little bit. So just get them to where you can see your holes lining up. You gotta have a hole here somewhere. There's my hole. Sometimes you just gotta fight it a little bit, but it'll go. And what I do is I start my screws before I tighten any of them. That way it let, allows you to move anything around that needs to be moved. Okay, we'll bring this back up here. And that's well started. Get our other one started in here. And we'll get the last one going. These you want to just snug them up. Just I mean I mean snug because there's not much material there for that thread to bite into it and you can strip it real easy if you're not careful. So you want to just make contact and just, you know, you can feel when it's a little bit snug. So there we have it. That's the turnaround on the switch. Thank you.